Hey everybody, welcome back to Cat's Tiny Kitchen. I'm so glad you came to visit me today. Um, I'm going to make kibby patties. And I want to get my meat together and um, get it marinating so I can fry it up tomorrow. With my tabbouleh salad, if you saw that recipe. I hope you did before this. Um, so we're going to cover the ingredients right now and get it all mixed together so I can get it in a container and get it in the fridge and get it marinating. So first off we have one pound of ground lamb. I have a half a cup of tabbouleh salad without the tomatoes in it and the lemon juice. This is what I reserved. If you watched the recipe from before you'll see me reserve this and set it aside. So then my um, spices I have, I have a half a teaspoon of salt, I have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I have a teaspoon of seven spice. And if you're wondering what seven spice is, it's a mixture of all kinds of different spices to make a really, really good flavorful blend. And in the seven spice, you can get the, you can get any, get the recipes off of YouTube if you want to make your own. Mine has all spice, ground black pepper, some ground cinnamon, ground clove, ground coriander, ground cumin, and ground nutmeg. And that's going to help give the flavor to the meat that we need for today. So those are the ingredients for the kibbe patties. So give me a minute and we will get the recipe going. So basically what we're going to do is just add all of our ingredients the reserved tabbouleh and all three of my spices and we're gonna mix this by hand so this is something this you know when if you got kids that want to get good and messy this is something you can have them do they can get their hands in here get dirty and get get it done and feel like they've um, participated in the meal so that's what we're gonna do right now And um, this is this is really good, and I can't wait to show you the recipe, the rest of the recipe here in a little bit. But this is going to get all mixed up really good. Get all the herbs and the peppermint, the parsley, the bulgur wheat, the spices, all mixed together here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a container. Because I'm not going to make this until tomorrow. You can do this and, and make it the same day. But I don't have time right now. So I got this all mixed up. I'm going to put it in a container and put it in my refrigerator. And then I will bring you along tomorrow when we make the patties. So we'll see you tomorrow. So I've got my kibbe meat. It's set overnight. And it smells very, very good. Can't wait to eat it. And I'm going to now make it into patties. And you want to make the patties um, a good size, but very thin because you want to cook them fast. You don't want them to um, get too overcooked, but you don't want them also like a hamburger. You don't want them like a hamburger. You want a thin patty, almost like a sausage patty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way put my plate here and I will show you a couple of them and then I will bring it back when we get ready to cook it so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to take a decent amount decent amount here and I'm going to I made a ball and I'm just going to flatten it into a very thin patty very thin Trying to build up the sides a little bit, but you want them thin because you don't want them to cook long. You want them to cook fa fast. You don't want them thick like a hamburger because we're not making a hamburger. These are kibbe patties that we're going to use, and it's very thin, as you can see. We'll make another one here. That's a good ball of meat. That's a good ball of meat right there. 
So it's like the size of a large meatball that you're going to pull out and then you're going to just flatten. And you continue doing that until you have all of your meat into thin patties. So, you know, now you've got the idea of what we're doing. I will see you back here in a couple minutes after I get them all done and we'll get the pan heated and get ready to cook. See you in a minute. So we're back and I have my pan good and hot and I'm going to probably only be able to get three in here at a time so I'm going to start putting my patties in and they're going to cook for about three or four minutes aside because you can Lamb can be eaten rare, just like a steak. And I kind of like my patties a little bit rare. Not raw, but medium rare. Might be a little bit more than that when we get done. And these do shrink up, so, and you'll see this as, you, as we're going. I wanted to share this. This is a recipe that I got from my mother, actually. Um, it's evolved over the years, but I would never had kibbe patties before, and actually some people don't even know what kibbe patties are. Um, and it's just a kibbe meat recipe, and instead of um, cooking it traditionally, you make it in patties, and you cook it or fry it in a pan. Now you can also fry these on the grill, they're really good grilled but my grill right now is in a box in my garage waiting for me to put it together and I just haven't seemed to have the time to do that so we're gonna fry these today but I just I love it because I love this time of year because I got to use fresh parsley for my garden I got to use fresh peppermint out of the yard um, we don't have garlic yet that's coming I've got a lot of garlic planted and I can't wait to use that too. And as you see as we're cooking you're going to see a lot of grease come off of these. Um, the lamb, ground lamb is a very very greasy meat. But we're going to let these go for a couple more minutes before we flip them. And I don't, you can't really see it but it's starting to cook up around the edges here a little bit and all of the patties. And I'm kind of test driving this frying pan to see how well it's going to work with this. Um, right now, I'm sure we're going to get a good fry on them, but we will see. It's not You don't really have to fry fry them. They don't have to be burnt or crispy or crusty or anything like that. You just want to get them cooked. So as they're going here, and I and I'm I am test driving this skillet because this is one of the granite stones, the stackable um, Gotham steel granite stone pans, and I just I, I'm I'm really liking them so far, and I just wanted to see how this was going to work out, and this is actually smelling really good right now. And as you can see, as we're cooking, they are starting to shrink up. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these and after I got done making the patties I got six really good patties out of the, the lamb mixture. And it's not an, un, it's an uneven browning but like I said you don't really need to have them brown brown. They just need to be cooked. So we are um, just cruising right along. And if you don't mind, I'm going to throw some music in here while we finish up the rest of them. And when we come back after frying, we will get it plated up and I'll show you how we do that with the tabbouleh salad and the hummus.
go figure, the small, smallest patty of all of them is taking the longest to cook. And like I said, you can see they shrunk up a lot. And, um, I, and um, I will show you in just a little bit how we are going to get this plated up. Which I normally don't show, but it, I think it's kind of important to show you how to put these things together. So, there you have it. Six beautiful kiwi patties grilled and ready to go. So hang on and I'll be back in just a minute and we'll get this plated up. Okay, so I got my pita pocket out here and I'm going to show you what I do to prepare my kiwi patty in my pita pocket. So the first thing we're going to do, we got our pita pocket, it's already open. I'm going to take a knife and dip it into my hummus. I'm going to take the hummus and I'm going to spread it on the inside of the pocket. And I'll probably have to switch my hand over here. Let me switch over. Here's a good old pizza. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it on the inside of my pocket. And you can't really see very well because my pocket keeps going shut. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to take some of my tabbouleh salad, I'm going to open my pocket up a little bit, and I'm going to take the tabbouleh and I'm going to lay some of that in here. And these pita pockets are pretty thin. I did not make them, I bought them. So now that we've got all of that stuff in there, I'm just going to take, I've cut my um, kiwi patties in half, and I'm just going to lay it in there, and there you go. There's dinner. So I am so glad you guys came along to watch this. I hope this is a recipe that you can use. And um, all that's left to do is take a picture and chow down. So thank you again for coming along. I bless you so much and have a good night.